Baby. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just measuring just talking about something completely unrelated and out of nowhere she decides to start measuring for garbage cans. It's the garbage can situation, I'm not gonna let it go. Especially because we have the bench today. This is why she's doing it. <laughs> because we're getting the bench today. We got another bench for the table. We're excited. We have to now think about getting rid of my trash cans. Can you use them for your studio? Like, storage even? You know, we do need a trash can for the studio. Pick one. Bomb. Problem solved. Problem solved. I get to keep my trash cans. <laughs> we can still keep one. Gonna see the homie Cave today. I met him long time ago back in Rochester playing with Kneebody at Java Joe's in Rochester, New York, right under uh, Eastman School of Music. Blew my mind. It blew my mind. Big ups to my man Mike Catone, who snuck me into Eastman when he was going to school there to see their master class. When they're when they they were talking about having their own you know communication musically and it just blew my mind and then to see them that night at Java Joe's coffee shop really dope spot a lot of dope guys that played at Eastman or what Eastman played there um, yeah to see them in such an intimate spot and to see them really work it was like something I never heard at the time because I was playing in gospel playing gospel music all the time back then and playing in church all the time and I was always interested in different styles of music and different jazz for that matter and uh, thanks to Doobie Powell uh, something about his playing kind of just threw me into it and then you know getting into Chris Dave early on Mid Condition days, Kim Burrell days uh, Kenny Garrett days early Chris Dave not a lot of cats know about early Chris Dave we love Chris Dave today but they don't, they don't know much about them, but about early Chris days, but you know, but yeah, copy, gotta go. If we didn't really luck up with this one, seriously, that's awesome. 
CCR. <laughs> Highland Park, yo. Oh, that was fun. Gotta run back to the crib real quick. And then to the studio. Come what on. What time is it? Go time? Yes, it is. Why you not say so? Okay. Let's go. All right, Cookie. This man had a pretty dope, pretty dope story. It just means, you know, to me that it makes all the sense why he's such a dope musician. And a good guy, you know? Solid, solid guy. Hustler. You know what I mean? And he can play. In 0 0.1 miles. Monster. Turn left. Nom nom. Nom nom nom. So loud. We went to this gig one night. Uh, one of Josh's friends. And it would turn out to be like uh, an Al Green type of cover band. And the guitar, I think either the lead singer or the guitarist was this dude named Irik who used to play with the Chili Peppers. And he also played with Macy. It was an Al Green cover bag kind of vibe, and you know, it was Kave was playing and killing. But he was up. He was playing and he was killing. But he was up there with with a, like a teddy bear mask on, and the whole gig, it was hilarious. He was murdering the gig and just killing, just funky as ever. Like you know, respect, like lot of respect, lot of respect. It was his thing, it was what he did. I love the decision to do that. Got my trash can. Versus me getting rid of both of them. I'm gonna keep one because I like to start my trash can. I don't know what her deal is. Let's get it ready. My trash cans. It's a good trash can. She wants to get a small trash can. Then we're gonna be taking trash out every doggone day. I promise you, every two to three days we'll be taking out trash. Guarantee it. Trash cans. <laughs>